Welcome to a 10-minute demonstration of Blackboard ProSites. ProSites was designed specifically as a small-scale, affordable e-learning solution based on market demands identified by person and associates. It comes from Blackboard, the leader in e-learning, with thousands of clients and over 20 million users on a daily basis. We've taken the broad Blackboard platform and taken specifically a subset of Blackboard Learn and created a turnkey software as a service solution that can immediately be deployed to deliver successful training opportunities. The cost of the Blackboard ProSite solution is $9,500 annually. It includes your software license, a turnkey hosted environment that is guaranteed to be up and available 99.7% of the time. It provide, we provide technical support and training. Now, what is the difference between Blackboard ProSites and Blackboard Learn? The, one of the main differences is that Blackboard ProSites is on a shared server rather than a dedicated server. What that means is that you can't choose to upgrade Blackboard anytime you wish. You have to upgrade when at specifically scheduled time frames when ProSites will be upgraded. ProSite is also limited by the number of users it can support and the size of courses it can support. It's also limited in the ability to um, integrate with your existing systems and expand on the capabilities of Blackboard. But if you ever choose to upgrade to Blackboard Learn, that environment is seamless to you. It can be upgraded without any effort on your, on your part. So let's go ahead and jump into a demonstration of Blackboard ProSites. I'm going to start by sharing my desktop. Now, every organization who purchases Blackboard ProSites will have their own URL. In this case, I've typed in prosites.blackboard.com. In your case, it would be acme.blackboard.com. It would have your corporate logo and colors your employees would come into this environment and see a My Courses module that would tell them all the courses that they're enrolled within and what role they've been enrolled in those courses. For example, are you instructing or facilitating that training opportunity or are you enrolled as a learner or an employee? You would see your announcements from all the training opportunities that you're enrolled within, any tasks that have been assigned to you. You could also check your scores in any of the training that you're enrolled within. Now let's start with the employee's view of their training. If I'm enrolled as an employee in a course called Communication Skills, a training opportunity can be an hour, a day, a week. It can be a continuous learning cycle throughout my career within the organization. This particular training is designed in a five-week structure. I can either navigate within the content itself by clicking on tasks to see the tasks I need to perform in week one, or I could use the menu on the left-hand side to jump right to the lecture. And whether this is going to start in five minutes or it happened five hours ago, I can view it in real time or play it back over and over again as many times as I need. And if I have any questions, I can go back and ask my questions of a, sub of a subject matter expert any time that they come up. Now, as a natural byproduct of that activity, Blackboard will create what we call a notification dashboard. And this dashboard will tell the employee what's new since they last logged in. So since I last logged in, there's one new announcement, there are two new assignments, 149 new content items, five new tests I need to take. This gives me one-click access to those things that are new within my environment. I would also see what is expected of me. What do I need to do? What am I past due on? And what's due today, tomorrow, this week, or some point in the future? And from a management or from an instructor's view, I can be alerted based on all the employees I'm training. I can be alerted to employees that haven't logged in within seven business days, that have completed their training or have not completed their training, or are past due on a particular assignment. I could easily look at the 13 employees that are past due on an assignment and select individual employees or select them all and choose to notify them and their managers as to their status. Now, being in this environment as um, an instructor, 
The only difference between an instructor and an employee is that the instructor sees this edit mode in the upper right hand corner. It's either on or off. Right now I have the employee's view. If I click it on, now I have the instructor view. And there's literally four buttons here that enable me to build out my learning environment. Above the menu, I can add a new content button. And so I could say, I want to add unit six. And in unit six, I want to make it available to my users and submit that. And now by default, we add it to the bottom of the list and you can just drag it and drop it anywhere you see fit. Of course, the content within the material can be dragged and dropped and resequenced as you see fit as well. Now if I go into Unit 6, now what I want to do is I want to build out my content. I want to use the audio, video, text, PowerPoint presentations, PDFs. Maybe I'm using a tool like Articulate or Captivate or Camtasia. Perhaps I've created a SCORM object that I want to deliver through Blackboard. We can deliver all of it as well as mashups from the web, things like YouTube videos and Flickr photos. How I would do that is I'd say, let me add a YouTube video on Blackboard here. And so I'll come out and say, let me search for any video on Blackboard. And what we'll do is it'll show me the list and I can preview any one of these and choose to select one that I want. Anytime you add something new to Blackboard, we'll step you through the simple wizard. Step one is, uh, is required. It, I can tell it's required by this gold star right by the name. And so we're required to give a name and then you know, the description is optional. I can then come down and step two, determine how I want it embedded within the page. I can attach additional files. Let's say I want to add a PowerPoint to this um, w along with this video. I can simply grab one from my desktop. Uh, there's a number of options in terms of tracking and viewing that content. And then when I submit it, it adds it into that area. So now I've added that video and it's seamlessly embedded within Blackboard. Now the next step is that if I wanted to open up that PowerPoint presentation, I can just sim simply click on it and it would just launch that PowerPoint presentation for me and I could go to any slides in that PowerPoint presentation and then when I exit out of it, it takes me right back to where I started. Now all these tools can be deployed at a course level or at a group level so you can define groups. And within the groups, you could say, you know, I want a discussion board that you could only participate in this discussion if you're part of that group. Or I want to send email to everyone in my group or collaborate or exchange information with people in my group. You can do that at various levels within the course structure. Now the next step is that I may want to make this environment a little bit more engaging and provide some social learning opportunities. So I may want to add a discussion board where our employees can ask a question of a subject matter expert or a blog where our subject matter experts are going to talk about topics and others are going to learn from those experts. In this case, we're going to have a discussion thread and what I can do is I can come in and either create a new discussion thread, I can link to one that's already been created so I can you know, use this leadership FAQ and say, let's go ahead and add that to this area. Now, when I'm walking through the discussion, I have the ability to determine, you know, that it's a walk through the simple same steps and by default by adding it in, now the discussion board's been added. And I can simply just click on it and it will open up the various threads of discussion and I can click on this one about the shape of a perfect leader and does he or she exist and see the various threads of discussion. Perhaps I want to, you know, um, rate a discussion thread. I can subscribe to a discussion and get an email anytime something new posts to this discussion thread. There's a number of capabilities that are available to me. Now the third option is that I may want to assess the comprehension of all this material that I've been adding. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my home page and I'm going to go into another course and let's say that we're trying to sell windows to, um, we're a windows company and we're selling windows and we're trying to train our employees on how to sell windows. The first thing a new employee may need to understand is the parts of a window and we're going to test their knowledge of the parts of a window. Or perhaps you know, they need to understand our marketing positioning and once they go through the material they could open up a, a, you know, a knowledge check and in this knowledge check I'm simply going to go through and there could be a variety of questions. Blackboard supports 14 different question types. There are like hot spot questions, there are true false and essay questions and fill in the blank and multiple choice and uh, this is a multiple answer question. Uh, here's a multiple choice question. Here's a true false question. And then I can just go ahead and submit that. And now once I submit it, I immediately get back the results. 
that showed me that I got 20 out of 30 points. It showed me what I answered for question one, two, and three, what I got right or wrong. And you could have immediate feedback back to that employee telling them, you know, you know, congratulations if they get it right or maybe if they get it wrong, where, that correct, where they can find the correct answer, what is the correct answer. Now, all that information that's happening by taking the test are, is all going directly to our grade center. And in that grade center, I can see that you know, two employees have taken that exam. I can, you know, it's like an online Excel spreadsheet where I can come in and just enter a score for you know, some employee and have that score entered in. But what I can do is come in and say, you know, let's take a look at the attempt statistics on this particular quiz. The average score is 17.5. Two of our employees took it. Um, question one, you know, it will show me you know, what percentage of people answered the question right or wrong and what's the correct answer to these questions. So I can get very detailed analysis as to how our employees are performing. So that is the high level overview of Blackboard Pro Sites. And what I'd like to say is if you have any questions, please contact ProEd Client Team at Blackboard.com or please visit us at www.blackboardprosites.com. Thank you very much.